welcome to Heartbeat this week. And today I want to share with you that God wants you. God wants us. God wants each and every one of us. It says in Ephesians 1 verses 4 to 5, Just as in his love he chose us in Christ, he actually selected us for himself as his own before the foundation of the world so that we would be holy, that is consecrated, set apart for him, purpose-driven and blameless in his sight. In love he predestined and lovingly planned for us to be adopted to himself as his own children through Jesus Christ in accordance with the kind intention and good pleasure of his will. Don't you love some of those words? It says that Christ actually selected us for himself as his own, that he predestined us to be adopted as his children. He wanted us right from the beginning when he created us. He goes, I'm going to create Julie. I want Julie in my life. I'm going to create Caroline. I want Caroline in my life. I'm going to create Sarah. I want Sarah in my life. It's like, well, it's not like it is. As he created us, as he thought of us, I want you as my own. I want relationship with you. I want to pour my love out to you. You are mine. We have a jealous God. He wants us. And every single person he's created, he wants. But then he gives us the free choice to choose then him. Remember our two-way relationship. God might want us, but we have to choose him. But God keeps telling us over and over and over again. Like in Jeremiah, I know the thoughts I think toward you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. God has wonderful thoughts towards us. Not to give us, you know, evil and bad things, but to give us hope and a future with him. Eternity with him. God so loved the world. God so loved every people, every person in the world. And so he chose his son to come and die for every single one of us because he loves us. He wants us to have a wonderful relationship with him. It's the desire that burns on his heart. It just is in his character. It is him. When we say God is love, God is love because he just, his heartbeat of him beats for us. His desire is for us. He wants us. It says in Matthew, and I love this, are not two sparrows sold for a copper coin and not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. God's saying, I know the sparrows that I've created, I know when they fall from the sky. I know when they hunger. I know where they nest. I know the number of hairs on your head. But are you not way more precious to me than sparrows? We are precious to our God. He wants us. Oh my goodness, in any relationship, isn't it wonderful when you know the person wants you, loves you to bits, just is their desire for you is a hundred percent and it's but God's desire is pure and holy and wonderful and good would you not want to be in a relationship with your God who is that who gives us that just to know that you know I remember at school You know, you line up and um, the teacher decides there's two captains. You're going to play, you know, I don't know, soccer or play a game where there's, you know, different sides. And, you know, the different people choose people. And, you know, as the line's getting less and less and less, sometimes you think, oh, who's going to pick me? You know that God picks you every time. 
every time he picks you. He picks me. He has no favourites. He picks everybody all on the same playing field because he loves us. He wants us. He desires us. He has a plan for us. We've been chosen as a generation. We've been chosen as a special people. It says, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, before the world was made, he had chosen us. That's how precious and important we are to him. We are wanted by God. So on times when you're feeling lonely, you're feeling like nobody chooses me, nobody picks me, nobody wants to be my friend. No, God does. He chose you. He wants you. Jesus said, I call my followers friends. Remember that and hang on to it. Because it is so precious. And may we then tell people, other people who don't know the God that we know, that he wants them. He loves them. He desires them to have a relationship with him forever. And only goodness can come from that. Who doesn't want to follow goodness? Who doesn't seek for truth? Who doesn't seek the best in life? It only comes by knowing God and loving God and being with God in a relationship. So I encourage you, remember that you are wanted, that you are loved, that you are needed, that you are precious. And on days when you don't feel it, go read about it. Go tell yourself, no, I am precious. I am loved by my God. I am wanted by my God. Let us say a prayer and thank God that he does. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear loving Father, we thank you that you love us. We thank you that you want us. Lord God, we cannot give back to you what you give to us, but may we give what we can. May we give of ourselves to you. May we see this relationship with you is so important. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you that you love us. And may we share with others the love that you have for them so that they will know this too. And we ask for courage and boldness in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father. And we thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.